strength of the team. And our winning coach, Coach Jojo Lestimosa. Coach, earlier in the first half, the score was 66 to 64. You guys were only up by two. Come the third quarter, you were able to really pull away. What was detailed at the half for you to pull away from the third up until the payoff period? Before I answer your question, I just want to say a uh, shout out to, to LA um, and his family. Um, we, we all feel for him and um, we're pulling for him. And knowing LA uh, with the time that uh, he, he spent with us in Alaska, I know he's a pretty strong guy. So if there's somebody who's going to go through with this um, kind of uh, problem, it's, it's LA. So I think he's, um, he's built for this. Um, LA, if this, is, this um, disease is going to come to somebody, um, see, see, LA is a guy who can, who can take this. So um, I just want to say now we're saying a little prayer for him and his family. And so going to your question, um, I think we just there's just a lot of frustrations in, in the first half because probably we're expecting too much from ourselves that um, Phoenix is is a pushover, but they are not. And when we could not get the lead, everyone was frustrated, not only the players, but even the coaches. So at halftime, we just said that we need to put the frustration level down. We cannot play frustrated basketball. And that's just all we did. Um, they just needed to... To calm down and um, pick their spots and, and, and play the game. Glenn, coach mentioned it already. The team was frustrated at the at the first half. So for you, how were you able to keep your composure all throughout the game? Um, I just listened to Kuya Jason. Eh. So si Kuya Jason yun ang compose talaga sa amin pag nung mm -hmm. pagtapos ng first half. So just play. Play sa level ng basketball ng TNT, so nagawa naman namin ng second half. Coach, kanina nag-usap tayo, sabi mo si Boy, he will be suited up, but he's really not supposed to play. But earlier in the fourth quarter, we saw him enter the court. What was like the decision-making process at that point? They, they were pushing for Boy to play some, some minutes tonight. Um, Ako, actually, on the contrary, ayaw kong gabitin si Poy because um, ilang beses naman nag-practice si Poy sa atin, dalawang beses lang yata yeah. nag-practice. So I don't know how how um, good shape uh, good shape he was in. But so I pushed for him in the last five minutes. Subukan mo na si Poy, subukan mo na si Poy. Kasi we might need him down down in the playoffs because not now knowing Kelly might have a a season-ending um, injury. So Poy is is needed there in, in that lineup. So I was I was happy about our outcome. Now we open the floor for our friends from the press. I think the full gap, full gap, full gap, and that doesn't go away very quickly. So we were um, we're expecting expecting the worst in in Kelly. advantage na sa mga open shots na binibigay sa akin siguro. So, <laughs> yun na naman yung ginagawa ko lagi. They saw me sa corner, then I take good shots. So, that's it. In fairness, even if Glenn wasn't shooting the, the three um, last, last how many games, but he's been working in the in practice. He's always the first guy who, who who's there. And um, siguro nagbunga din yung sabi ko kay Glenn na practice yesterday na don't think too much about your offense. Your offense is going to be there if you're wide open to shoot it. So it's your defense. So just getting the um, um, the pressure off Glenn in terms of, of um, offense, I think it, I'm sure it helped him. Coach, next step, semifinals. Do you plan on giving Glenn after his stellar game? Do you plan on giving him more touches? No. <laughs> Yes, um, 
Kailangan gamitin ko na sa maaga, hindi late. But they're still there. So meron pa rin kami isang singko na pwedeng tumulong sa amin. Um, although medyo offensively challenged lang si Dave, but you know, he can he can hold his own uh, defensively. So having Poy come back at this time and now knowing Kelly might not be there, so I'm not too worried about our, our position at the, at the, at the five. Coach, uh, how do you like the match of Iger, Gerard, or Magnolia? I like it. I like it so much. <laughs> yeah, Gaidon, um, we match up well against um, Magnolia and we match up well against 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 um, Leralco. Uh, I think we have enough length to to match up with them. And I think we have enough big guards to match up with their big guards as well. So I'm, I'm fine with whichever. Uh, I'd say um, good 60, 65. If he can get to a 75 level it comes to semifinals, that's going to be a huge help. Both of them were working. Yeah, of Um, I think we we just need to play our game. Um, I think and you open some is is natural. Hindi when when you when you see us, we're not really running any any sets. They're just playing. And I think if knowing that Meralco and 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 Magnolia they hold their, their, their opponents down to less than a hundred, so it's, it's going to be challenging. But um, I think this team is built for it. Uh, I'm always ready to man. Yet, siya sabi naman ni coach is hindi naman talaga every time ma open yung spot ko. So nagusub kami so ayam iba siguro like cuts, rebound, as a rebound defense from the floor. Ma open ako sa three points. Di ako na mali. Titingin na ako sa ano. Uh, the rest of the team. Uh, so I think, I think so. Yeah, although Sir Roger tonight, medyo hindi maganda pa karamdam na hindi COVID. The last three days. So, <laughs> alam naman si Roger sabi niya, Coach, lahat ng ng variant ng COVID meron na ako. Eh. So I'm I'm kind of worried about Roger. Lahat ng variant meron daw siya. Eh. So pero hindi daw hindi naman daw COVID. Thank you. Thank you.